Hello, Voorhees, and welcome to the top five student jokes of the week for Friday, March the 19th, 2021. We had a lot of great jokes uh, coming in this week. Hope everyone enjoyed St. Patrick's Day on Wednesday. And I'm going to now jump into our top five jokes. Joke number one this week comes to us from Ryan Miller and Mrs. Harvey's third grade class. And Ryan's joke is, what does the volcano say to the other volcano? Ryan lets us know the volcano says to the other one, I lava you. <laughs> Ryan, awesome joke. Scorching hot joke there, Ryan, about the volcano. Love it. The volcano says the other volcano, I lava you. Thank you. Great joke, Ryan. Joke number two this week comes to us from Ava Pulaski, Mrs. Scott's first grade class. She asks us, how do panda bears eat bamboo? Eva lets us know that pandas eat bamboo with their bare hands. <laughs> bear, like B-E-A-R, also like B-A-R-E. Great joke, Eva. Love it. Joke number three is from Brielle Shavaria in Ms. Moy's class. And she asks, why is everyone tired on April 1st? And when I first read this joke, from Brielle. I thought maybe it had to do with April Fool's Day, but apparently not. Brielle lets us know everyone is very tired on April 1st because they just finished a long march. <laughs> That's great. Marching in the streets, the month of March. Brilliant joke. Great, Brielle. Love it. Thank you. Joke number four is from Joey Latito in Mrs. Harvey's class. And Joey has a little uh, St. Patrick's Day joke for us. Why do leprechauns recycle? And we all should be recycling at home and in school. But leprechauns also like to recycle. Why is that? Joey lets us know it's because they like to go green. <laughs> Excellent joke, Joey. Because when you go green, that is a, that's a phrase for recycling. And obviously leprechauns are green with St. Patrick's Day. Great joke. Final joke this week. Uh, I found this from about a month ago, and I realized this is an outstanding joke that didn't get told. So we're going to have this joke from Alex Rents in Mrs. Kraft's kindergarten class, and I'm going to have the Voorhees Viking tell this joke. Hello, Voorhees. It's wonderful to see you once again. This joke from Alex Rents is the following. What do you call a very small valentine? So yes, children, think back to Valentine's Day and pretend like you got a valentine. What would you call it if it was a very small valentine? Hey, Mr. Viking, you mean if you got uh, something like this on Valentine's Day? Oh, uh, no, no, Dr. Ferrier, that, that's a rather large valentine. The question is, what do you call a very small valentine? Oh, you mean uh, if you got something like this? like Oh, exactly, Dr. Ferry. What would you call that if that was given to you as a small valentine on Valentine's Day? What would you call it? You would call it a valentine! <laughs> Valentini! <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Viking. Um, and thank you, Alex Rents, for that outstanding joke. I'll remember that next Valentine's Day. Uh, and if I give someone a tiny little uh, Valentine like that, I'll call it the Valentini. I love that. Okay, students, let's please keep the jokes coming so we have plenty more each week. Everyone enjoy the weekend. The weather's going to be warming up again. Hope you can get outside and enjoy it. Keep up the great work with all of your schoolwork.